Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming with a bunch of new and exciting makeup products. I wanted to show you my filming box because everything just sits so pretty in here. It's very satisfying to my eyes. Today's video is not going to be a first impressions because I simply could not wait to try these. So I'll be able to give you a better review because I've tried these out, I know how they wear, I know how they feel, I know what the formulas are like. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. I'm going to start off with the new e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer. So the first time I used this, I used way too much. You only need a little bit. It has such a silky thin texture and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just starting off with a pea size amount. Oh, I think my cats are play fighting and I'm going to focus this in the areas where I have pores where I want to kind of make them look smaller. Another mistake I did the first time around is not letting it set. I forgot to read the back of the product and it says to let this set on your skin for at least 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do that. Although the liquid version has been in my life for a very, very short while, I prefer it much more than the original ones that come in the pucks. I feel like this one's easier to use. It's also quicker and I don't have to melt the product down to prevent chunks on my face. I just prefer the liquid formula. And I think that just goes for me and primers in general. I phased out every one that comes like in a little, in a little tub. I just, this is much easier for me to use. So that's that on that. I think it does a really great job at kind of blurring my skin and gripping down my makeup. So now I'm going to go in with some foundation. I don't have a new one, but I'm actually going to add something to my foundation. And that is the new Jones Road Gel Bronzer. So this is kind of like the Drunk Elephant Debronzy without the shimmer. So these are fun. These are kind of multi-purpose products. You can use them as a bronzer. You can mix it in with your foundation. You can put it on under your foundation, kind of like an underpainting thing just to give your skin more of like a bronzy sun-kissed look. I have two shades. I have the shade light and medium. I'll quickly swatch them on the back of my hand. I'm going to be using the shade light. Medium is a little bit too dark for me. I don't have the darkest version. They only sent out two of them to me. So this is light and this is medium. So I've already used this product in a variety of ways. I've dotted some on or I've mixed some into my foundation. I've never done the underpainting thing, but I just wanna use this to darken up my foundation a little bit to make it look more bronzy. And this formula is nice. It doesn't really alter the texture of the foundation too much. Of course, a little bit, but it's not like a huge drastic change. It mostly just makes it look like a summery version. And I used the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Hold on a second. I gotta concentrate on what I'm doing. It's like that looks very very dark <laughs> Okay, there's my ratio So I used one pump of my all-hours foundation from YSL in the shade LN6 And then I used that much of the gel bronzer from Jones Road And I'm just going to mix that up with my finger and then I'm going to dot some on I just conducted a little experiment here. So this is the foundation on its own. This is the foundation with the shade light mixed in and medium mixed in. It's interesting, the color medium looks a lot more cool toned against my skin tone. And I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101 brush to blend this out. Whoops. And another fun way to use this product, sorry, holding it backwards, is by mixing a little bit of foundation into it to create a darker version of your foundation to give more of like a natural bronzing effect. I'll quickly do that today. Let's have some fun. I'm actually gonna try this out with the shade medium. So I took a little dollop of that and I'm going to put some of my foundation to create kind of like a bronzer tone. Let's see how this works. Might be too much foundation in that mixture, but let's just give it a light, a light try. That's really nice, see? And I feel like it just blends in so nicely with the foundation because it is the foundation. <laughs> 
I love multi-purpose products. It makes me so happy. And I can't imagine how fun it would be to try to mix your own color of blush with the bronzers. I might have to do that later on in this video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just have so many ideas with this product. I'm excited about it. <laughs> so there is the shade medium mixed in with my foundation to create kind of like a contoury bronzer moment. And I think that looks awesome. Very fun. I don't have a newer concealer or powder, so I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to be using my Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in the shade Light, and then I'm going to set my under eyes with my Jones Road The Tinted Face Powder in the shade Untinted and Pink Mixed to create this kind of light pink here. I sadly just messed up and I forgot to push record for the bronzer segment, but I used one of these new bronzers from MAC. It's really cool. They came out with some rosy undertones as well as some golden undertones. Today I used the light rosy shade and I think this formula is wonderful. It reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty Glowish bronzer, but just a little bit more on the intense side. It has that same kind of luminosity running through it, but it doesn't look pearly or glittery on the skin. It just adds this gorgeous radiance, but it has a really nice blendability to it and the undertone is really nice. So that is the shade light rosy and I'm currently swatching the golden and this here is light golden whoa I really really swatched the light version here hold on a second but you can really see that sheen now and I blended it out with this really nice brush if you have been eyeing this brush that I've been using forever the moda blending fan you'd love this one I believe you can't get the moda blending fan anymore but I'm so happy Matt came out with one because it feels exactly the same same exact feel on my face so I'm just gonna reenact what I did I went like this <laughs> with the Mac bronzer I'm so sorry guys Oh, I swear this video is cursed. <laughs> I already filmed this whole video and my mic wasn't recording the whole thing, so pretty frustrating, <laughs> but my bad. But yeah, it looks really, really nice on the skin. It almost has like a creamy finish to it, but it's a powder, so it's going to last a lot longer. I am really, really excited about those bronzers. So now for blush, I'm feeling very 50-50 on these ones. These are the new NARS Afterglow Liquid Blushes. So I've tried pretty much every color in the range aside from the dark one, Insatiable. I'll quickly give them all a swatch, one sec. Some of the lighter colors just blend out and they look like just a skincare serum without any tint at all. And some of them can kind of blend out a little patchy too. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys on my skin today. There's a few shades that I really, really like and my mom compliments me every time I wear one of these blushes. She's like, what is that? And she's as tough of a critic for blushes as I am with highlighters. So I really wanna like them for the sake of my mom, you know? <laughs> so here are the six colors. I think they look so stunning fully on like this. The colors are so fun, especially this lilac shade. So this is the shade Wonderlust. Then we have Brazen, Behave, Orgasm, Dolce Vita, and Insatiable. Really, really pretty. I really like this color right here. It's stunning. The shade Behave kind of blends out and then it just looks like a skincare serum on my skin, so it doesn't look like anything on my skin. Same with the shade Wonderlust. I'll compare it to another product in a second. I'm just getting a sense already that you all wanna see the shade Wonderlust on my skin, so I'm gonna go in with this, and I might add a little bit more of another color too after, but just so you can see the color in action, it's pretty cool toned. And I have found that these blend out best with a finger. It kind of gets sopped up with a sponge or a brush and then it kind of gets all patchy and it disturbs what you have underneath. So just light, light little taps of this on your cheeks does a really good job. So these are going to give you a very, very natural little tint 
with a lot of glow, like a skincare glow, but it doesn't feel that tacky, which is nice. I just feel like it doesn't have enough pigment for me, so I feel like it's lacking in that department for me, but there is a formula that is very, very, very similar to this, <laughs> and that is the M Cosmetics Serum Blushes, and I was so happy I recently revisited these. They're so similar, you guys, but I think the M Cosmetics ones might be better because they're more consistent and more pigmented, so I'm going to compare that shade Wonderless to Little Lilac in that formula. So here is what we have rocking here. So this is Little Lilac, and this is the shade I just used. So Little Little lilac you can see stretches quite a bit and it's very consistent and there's not many streaks or patches and then I just wipe my finger here and you can see that NARS just kind of doesn't hold up when it's side by side you know I'm gonna add more of the NARS just to give it a shot there it's not bad in any sense, but this is for sure better. But you can see there's a little bit of a tonal difference. This is a lot more pink, whereas this is a lot more lilac. And there are a lot of similar colors to the range of the M Cosmetics ones here. I think I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the shade Orgasm, might as well. This one has a little bit of a sheen running through it, like a little golden sheen, classic for the Orgasm shade, but it's not too glittery like the powder blush. I feel like this one gives a lot more oomph and I feel like it's more worth it in comparison to the lilac shade. So for me, I'm feeling 50-50 on these because some shades are really, really nice and some of them are just kind of lackluster for me. But I think if I were to recommend one of these formulas, I would go for the M Cosmetics ones. They're just far more pigmented and even in texture too. The shade Orgasm is definitely the most different out of them all because it has that sheen to it. And I feel like it has more pigmentation. Just add a little bit to my nose. There. See, I think that's cute. It's cute. I have a new highlighter here. These are the new Florisys Twin Lotus Relief Luminous Glow Highlighters. I have two shades, stunning shades. This one here is Quartz Glow and this one is Amber Glow. And this one, when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, is this a powder version of the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm shade? And it totally is. <laughs> I feel like I could use this as a blush too. I've used this shade on my cheeks before, but not this one. But I'm curious to see what they both look like at the same time. So I'm going to use the white one first, Quartz Glow, on this side of my face. And then I'm going to try the other on the other side. And then I'm going to mix them to get both sides even. <laughs> I just wanna see. So this is Quartz Glow. It's a really, really nice formula. It reminds me kind of of the Rare Beauty highlighter, but just a little less punchy, I guess. It's just a little more on the natural side. It's still very like apparent, but comparing it to the Rare Beauty one, but it still has that really pretty pearlescent glow. And it's a little bit more on the glimmery side, but not the glittery side. And the pearl is very consistent, so I don't have like that mashup of different size pearls that can emphasize texture. This one is more even, so I feel like it doesn't accentuate as much. I'm just gonna really wipe this brush off and I'm gonna go in with the pink side. I wonder if I could use this one as a blush. I wanna see how pigmented the base color is. I don't know if it has a very pigmented base color, it just is kind of pulling very gold. Very, very gold. I kind of prefer this side. There's a little bit of a pink, pinkness, but I don't think it'd be good as a blush. It's like too sheer and it's too gold for a highlight for me and my tastes. I do prefer the quartz glow, but let's mix them so I can get kind of like a happy medium champagne glow. <laughs> I'm gonna go over with my sponge here to kind of take that down. These products are always so breathtakingly beautiful. I don't know how they get such a detailed imprint in the products. Like, look at this. Like, what? There's like not one spot that isn't incredibly detailed. Like, even the background right here of the design. How does it look like a quilt? And the last thing I'm going to add to my base is a sheer layer of the Kosas powder in the shade Feathery, just to lock things in. I think my base looks really, really pretty. The only thing I'm kind of side-eyeing, I guess, is the blush. I feel like it's not the best out there. The colors are just so cute and I'm so drawn to them. I want them to be the best thing ever, but it's just not reality, I guess. The packaging's so cute. The colors seem so cute. The formula feels really nice. I just feel like it doesn't add enough for how much it costs. But other than that, I think the highlighter is stunning. The bronzer is really fun. I feel very, very, very excited about this here. But now that the base is all done, I'm going to quickly do my brows and prime my eyelids. So please enjoy the brow intermission.
I have a fun eye look in mind, you guys. The other day I went swimming with my nieces, so I created kind of like a mermaid eye look because I wanted to play mermaids. I wanted to relive my childhood, okay? It's going to be heavily inspired by this image I found on Pinterest. To create something inspired by this, I'm going to be using all of these. <laughs> eye paints from Half Magic Beauty. My favorite shade is this one here from the new extension, Lavi Winkle. And I put two and two together. I was like, why do I love this color so much? And it's because it reminds me of this palette from Kleidos so much. I'm so excited to create a look using the cream and this palette. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be using all of these colors. So Lavi Winkle, Serving Siren, Bad Bunny, Crown Please, ASMR and fairies are real. I'm going to put a dollop of all of them on my little palette here and we're gonna get to creating. So here's my stunning color palette. I'm going to start off with the purple shade. It's the shade Crown Please. And I'm going to take that on this smaller brush. This is a BK Beauty 204 brush. And I'm going to start putting this in my inner corner here, as well as a wing, the start of one anyways. Now I'm going to take this Huda Beauty Eye Smudge Brush with the shade Lavi Winkle and I'm going to kind of put that on top of the purple and then I'm going to bring this up into my crease. Just going to retouch that purple a touch. This look is going to be all about dabbing <laughs> and not so much like big windshield wiping motions, just very little detailed strokes. I'm also going to put this on the lower part of my eye here. Now I'm going to start incorporating some of the green shade Serving Siren with another little brush. This is a ColourPop E28. I'm gonna use a couple detailing brush, but this shade is gonna go right here. Whoa, that was a lot. And I'm going to just blend that into all the other colors. For like a little hint of that and I'm going to switch to an angled brush to get it to go on top of the wing right here and this one's fairly pigmented so I'm going to use as little as I can I've been using these a ton I think they're incredible especially the shimmery shades they are so stunning they're very serum -y and they have such a gorgeous glow to them they're not super super opaque they're kind of like more toppery vibes and they just add so much fun to looks I have been so happy with them the matte shades are really pretty the shimmer shades definitely speak to me they're very different from say like the about face ones but if you had like a ton of the about face eye paints you could probably create similar colors to this they feel very similar I would say the about face eye paints are a little bit more opaque in texture. These ones feel very, very thin to work with. They feel more watery. Now I'm going to dip into some of the shimmery shades. I'm taking this green color and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. So, so nice. I'm also going to put it right here. I'm just going to use that same brush to do everything, I think. This is the e.l.f. Small Precision Brush. Now I'm taking this gorgeous um, blue shimmer, and that's the shade Fairies Are Real. And I'm going to put this kind of in my inner nook, right above this green one. I love these. They add a lot, but they don't overpower. They just are a great addition. And I know she has kind of like a, a yellowy gold all over the lid, but I really wanted to make the shade Bad Bunny the center focus of the look. So I'm just gonna apply it directly on here, right in the middle where I have some open space. Then I'm just gonna pat it out. And I want it to look more ethereal and effortless. I don't mind if like there's random pink glitters everywhere. I wanted that smudgy kind of mermaidy look. Now I'm just going to tweak anything I want. I'm just gonna add more of like that green color, maybe more of the matte shades too. I'm just gonna enhance. I feel like the fairies are real. Color needs a little bit more loving. I'm gonna put some right here. And maybe here too. Should I just leave that blank? I feel like so, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna put anything here to connect it. I'll see, I'll think about that, but I'm going to recreate it on this eye and I'll be right back. 
And here are the eyes all done. They're very ethereal, very fun. I love all the color. Is it the most flattering look? No, but is it the fun look? Yes. I decided to skip over this mascara because I decided I despise it and I didn't want to put my eyelashes through it again. This is the new Milk Makeup Rise Mascara in Waterproof. I've tried the original Rise. I didn't like it, but I have been trying more waterproof mascaras because I like how much they keep the curl in my lashes. So I was hopeful, but I hate it still. <laughs> and number one reason why is it's because it's so messy. They made the stopper here way too tight and this is a curved wand. This is just gonna sound very dirty and I'm, I'm sorry, but you really have to be detailed and meticulous when you're putting it back in or else you get a ton of product squeezed out on the side and it's just gonna be an entirely sticky mess. Also the packaging just gets unbearably dirty, especially if you have cats, it's just like a cat magnet. It's the same texture as like that rolly thing that you can use on your couch to pick up all the cat hair. That's, I'm gonna use it as that actually. Probably works really good as a lint roller. Anyways, yeah, not good, not good. And it's so hard to get out of your lashes. It was in my lashes for days and it just didn't offer my lashes anything. Really, really bad mascara from Milk, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but instead of that, I used my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I was thinking of adding lashes, but I just, I really want the shimmer to be the focus of the eyes today. So I'm just gonna let it swim free. <laughs> But now let's move on to lips because I have a bajillion lip products. I think we're just gonna have a fun swatching fest for a little bit. I think that'd be fun. So I'm going to try these lip products first. These are the new Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Lipsticks. So these are kind of like that blurring texture. They're going to look matte, but they're going to feel very silky and kind of hydrating on the lips. Very like K-Beauty inspired lip product. We've been seeing a lot of these. I feel like the color range is pretty, but very, very expected and kind of boring for Charlotte Tilbury like we get the classic colors walk of no shame pillow talk pillow talk medium just like nothing really new or exciting it's just a different formula with the same shades so i guess if you love pillow talk you might like this but to me this was kind of a lackluster launch but let's give them a shot um i'm going to try on the shade walk of no shame blur I like the applicator. It has a really nice point to it and a little bit of like a curved tip so you can get some nice detailed application, especially if you're not going to be using a lip liner. I haven't had to dip back in, so that's good. It has really good opacity and yeah, it feels really nice and silky and thin. It feels thinner in comparison to other formulas like this. I'm going to wipe this off. I know it's a little bit janky on the edges, but just so you can get a visual of the texture, this is it. I'm sure it sits down a little bit more. The other day I tried the shade Pillow Talk and it was nice. It's nice. It's not the best ever. It's not outstanding, you know? It's just nice and it feels very thin on the lips. Yeah, it feels very weightless for how opaque it looks. So there's that one. A good product, but doesn't feel like a a memorable product to me. Now I have a ton of these here. These are the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipsticks. So same kind of thing here. Since these kind of launched a side of these here, I was expecting some really fun shades, but they're kind of very typical for NARS. So we got some browns and a lot of very red based colors. I don't know what color I'm gonna use. There's a bajillion shades. Here, I just took a moment to swatch all of them on my hand here. So here are all the shades swatched. As you can see, they have a really nice shine to them. They're just all very warm toned in my opinion. It just feels like a lot of shades I've seen before, you know? <laughs> Let's just swatch this one. I'm gonna randomly pick one. I'm going to swatch the shade Dolce Vita. And if you'd like to see me do like a lip swatch reels of all of these, I could do that for sure. Really pretty, really pretty shine. It feels really nice and thin. It doesn't feel too thick or glossy like a lot of kind of like these glossy sticks can feel like. It feels very lightweight. As glossy sticks go, it feels kind of like on the drier side. Not like it's going to dehydrate my lips. It just doesn't feel as, as silky and wet as others, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now let's swatch these. <laughs> these are the MAC squirts. The squirt plumping lip, the plump, the squirt plumping, the squirt, the squirt plumping gloss sticks. So these have a ton of funky, funky shades. Again, I can do a swatching reels if you want to. They just have some really funky colors. Like I'm gonna put on this blue. 
and I have tried these a few times and you have to be very, very delicate when you're putting them on because if you add any type of pressure, it's going to crumble on your lips. Like these are very, very soft. Softer than the Makeup by Mario uh, lip serums or any type of product like this I've ever tried before. As you can see here, I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure. Oh, it's not gonna do, oh, it did a little bit. It just can kind of get clunky and chunky on your lips. Didn't happen, of course. But this is the shade Nova. <laughs> So flattering, <laughs> wow. Just makes my lips look like I kissed the Night King or something. Mm. Doesn't everyone want that? Just dead lips, I don't know. Fun, funky shade, that's for sure. Something I haven't seen in this formula yet. <laughs> one that's really unique, they have a black one, which would be fun paired with kind of wine colored lip liners. Oh, it'd be really fun to do like a combination lip swatch reveals or something, but the black one can be cool. The best way to apply these, I find, is by tapping them and then you get kind of a better application. On its own, this does not look great, but with a wine colored lip liner, it looks really, really cool. So the black one is called Jet. I'm just gonna swatch some of the funkier ones and then I'll swatch the ones that I would realistically see myself wearing. Let's try the green one, which is called Like Squirt. This one is pretty sheer, but you can see it does have like a little tint of green and yellow. Like once they're paired with a lip liner, I don't think that they would look like this, but still, I wouldn't really reach for it. Is it fun though? Yes. So this is the one that I've actually been reaching for and actually wearing. It's the shade Amped. It's a sheer Barbie pink, and I actually think it's quite flattering. They do have kind of like that cooling, plumping feel like the Makeup by Mario ones. I just feel like they're a lot more shiny and maybe a little bit more thick in comparison to the Makeup by Mario ones. And I do find that they can tend to fall into my mouth a little bit more. Like the first time I used this, I, I nearly choked because I felt like it was plumping my throat, but <laughs> they're nice. If you use a little bit, they're nice. Are they the best thing ever? Like, do they have me? <sighs> I have so many dirty jokes I could say about these. Just for funsies, let's try one of the brown colors. I'm going to try on the shade Simulation. Or maybe I'll try the shade Lower Cut on my top lip. Just the two brown shades. I'm just trying to go for like a little Kim Possible moment here. Like they're very glossy sticks. <laughs> I think they're pretty. I don't think that they're all that in a bag of chips, nor do I think they're going to make me squirt. <laughs> you know I had to, like you can't name a product squirt and not think dirty. Yeah, they're just okay. <laughs> they're really nice, but they're nothing to squirt about. Okay, that's my final conclusion on those. But now let's try these Kosas lipsticks. I think I'm going to finish with the wet sticks from Kosas because I actually really, 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 really like them. And that's what I wanna end wearing today. But let's try some of their new lipsticks. They came out with some new ones. They used to have something similar, but they're repackaged and reformulated now. Let's try the shade Beach House. Ooh, or maybe Star Power. They're fun, they have like magnetic closures. They remind me a lot of the e.l.f. O'Face lipsticks. Very, very similar, which is a little bit more shiny and finish. These are very soft too, so you don't wanna scroll it up too much or it's going to like smush on the edge of the packaging. So they have kind of like a hydrating finish to them. This is the shade Beach House. I don't know if that's very flattering on me. Fret not, let's do a little something fun. This is the shade Star Power. So fun. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. I think the texture is really nice. Um, the colors seem nice. I think they're just not as exciting to me as other lip products right now. But great pigmentation, great feel on the lips. I like the magnetic closure, they smell nice, the colors look really nice, but I think I'm more excited about the wet sticks if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's actually so fun to just sit and swatch all these lip products. I swatched these on my arm a little while ago, but I have been wearing a lot of these. <laughs> my two favorite shades are Malibu and Hot Beach. 
Oh my goodness, those colors are stunning. At first when I swatched them on my arms, they all looked kind of very similar, but they have different undertones to them and they translate very differently on my actual lips than my arms. So this is one formula I really wanna do like a swatching reels just out of curiosity for myself. I wanna see what they all look like on me. But yeah, these two have me stuck. I love them. So let's go with Hot Beach first because I think I'm gonna end with Malibu. I think it's gonna be more flattering to the tones on my face, but this is Hot Beach. It has a really nice new kind of peachy tone for my skin tone and the texture is just so nice it's not like ultra ultra glossy like the squirts from mac it just has like a nice everyday kind of sheen really really pretty really nice even pigmentation and texture it's just really easy to wear again these have magnetic closures it feels really really nice and exciting to me i feel like they're a little bit more unique the shades are stunning although we're seeing a lot of these types of products like i was just swatching these just have something special about them they have me really excited but this is the shade hot beach isn't it nice i love it i do feel like a hot beach in it i'll swatch malibu on its own and then i'm going to put some sort of lip liner to finish it off today this is malibu so so cute i think it's so flattering against my skin tone it's just like an easy wearing one i'll line my lips with this one it was the lip liner that was sticking out at me it's the huda beauty muted pink lip liner And here is my final makeup look. I feel like there's a lot of gems in today's video. Be sure to check out this month's makeup roundup for my final thoughts on all of these products. I don't think I'm gonna go through each product one by one because I feel like I'll just re-say everything I said throughout the video, but I did wanna highlight some gems that I think are going to be lasting favorites of mine. First one being the Kosas Wet Sticks. I am incredibly excited about these and I feel like they're going to be long lasting favorites of mine. Um, same with the Half Magic Beauty Eye Paints specifically the shimmery shades. They're just so lustrous and ethereal looking. Wow, my eyebrow just did a really weird glitch that felt really, really awful and gross. Did not appreciate that, but yeah. These are really fun to work with. They're very, very hassle-free. The shades are stunning. The shimmer shades are just so dreamy. So excited about those. Same with the highlight. I really, really like the looks of this highlight. I think it's very, very flattering. It's not accentuating, but it's really, really highlightery. you know? It's just see-through when the light's not hitting it and then bam, really pretty. And it's so fun to look at. Oh my goodness. I'm also really excited about the bronzers. I'm really looking forward to conducting some experiments with liquid blushes and cream blushes and just everything with the Jones Road gel bronzer. And I really love how MAC came out with some bronzers with different undertones. I think that is so fun and needed because sometimes they're just way too golden and red. Sometimes you need like a rosy bronzer and it just works so well. And my last favorite is this brush. I'm thrilled about this brush. <laughs> But I think that's everything I wanted to say in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will link everything I used in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.